TIE is the Common Intellectual Experience. It is a seminar that is shared amongst our first year students. So all first year students take two semesters of CIE with professors from throughout the college. In my opinion, CIE puts all of us, takes all of us outside of our comfort zone and allows us to learn in ways that we might not otherwise be able to, including us professors. What students should take away from the CIE course is a sense of investigation so that they are personally starting to investigate the answers to the four fundamental questions of the course. Hopefully by examining other people's answers to those questions in the texts that we read and also through dialoguing with other members of their class, they can start to formulate their own opinions. CIE was from the start an inquiry-based course. By that, I mean we see these issues as issues, questions that you're going to explore throughout your life. You're always going to be thinking about it and asking, how should I live with others? The biggest thing that I hope students take away from CIE is to learn how to think critically. Oftentimes when I come in contact with first and second year students in particular, people tell me that they haven't been taught how to think. They've been taught how to, you know, obtain information and how to regurgitate it, but not how to think critically about it. And, and so I really try to use CIE to begin that process of learning how to read, think, and discuss critically. Every CIE professor uses the same texts, but every CIE teacher is allowed to make their section their own. So we all put our own kind of spin on it. We're all different people, and we all teach in different ways. So yeah, so a typical class should be students discussing the material with each other, what we're reading, the ideas in what we're reading, how those ideas relate to their own ideas, and as we encounter each text, there's sort of this um, sense in which they build upon each other. First of all, hopefully conflict arises. Um, class would be really boring if everyone just agreed with each other all the time. Um, so one, one way to make sure that the conflict stays respectful, uh, that I think a lot of our CIE faculty do, is, is early on in the course it's really important to establish ground rules for discussion. And, it, and it's helpful if those ground rules for discussion come from the student. And we can revisit those throughout the semester. So if something happens where it's clear that one student has gone past some boundary or another student feels uncomfortable, we can, it's, I think it's important to acknowledge that. Of course, another way conflict could arise could be if there are students who don't feel comfortable speaking up. If you believe something strongly, you should want to hear from students who don't believe it. You're never gonna have the opportunity to argue to them and to convince them unless you hear their, their view. We're not here to win arguments. We're not here to you know, prevail or dominate over others in this, in this classroom. We're here to get clarity. These are not simply intellectual issues. It's, it's not simply who's got the best argument and then we'll all buy into that. Um, you, you cherish your own beliefs. There's passions, emotions involved with them. So I think when one is teaching this class, one has to be really alive uh, to that fact.